And now, some brand new music. Joining me on stage is a 16-year-old violinist from San Francisco, Leonard Chang, and a 14-year-old pianist from Berkeley, Preben Antonsen. They're out here to play the composition of their colleague and friend, 17-year-old Matthew Camille. Welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Preben, you yourself, in addition to Matthew here, are a serious composer as well as the pianist of today's. Yes, that, that's correct. Preben, how does that influence you when you work on a piece and you're a performer, you're, you're playing somebody else's music. How is it as a composer working with another composer? Well, um, it allows me to more, be more sympathetic because uh, <laughs> I'm used to the feeling of having those who are playing my music, um, you know, disrespect, you know, what I've <laughs> told them to do. So it's... Uh, Leonard, has Matthew been pretty direct in his comments? What kind of things does he work with you about? Well, though I wouldn't call it exactly advice, they're very subtle, well, not quite so subtle, death threats. Oh. <laughs> for example, just today, I believe it was, for each mistake you do, I will cut off part of your body, starting with your nose. Fear is a great motivation. We're back to the uh, Clint Eastwood school of com composition, I guess. Indeed. <laughs> um, well, Matthew, why don't you introduce your composition? Tell us a little bit about it. Certainly. Uh, this is a the third movement from a piece um, for, dedicated to Lou Harrison called the Sonata for Lou Harrison. Um, this is the third movement called Stampede. And uh, Lou Harrison was a great American composer, uh, died just recently in 2003. Uh, really a brilliant American composer and influenced a whole generation of young composers like myself. Great. Well, come on over and have a seat in the From the Top Hot Tub, Matthew, while Craven and Leonard perform your piece. I'm going to go turn pages for Craven.
Leonard Chang, 16-year-old violinist, and Craven Antonson, 14-year-old pianist, performing a movement called Stampede from 17-year-old Matthew Camille's Sonata for Lou Harrison. Thanks, you two. Nice performance. And at the mic, we have our young composer. Congratulations. Thank you. Very nice piece. Uh, Matthew, so you, you actually met Lou Harrison before he died. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, well, I met him uh, at the Cabrillo Music Festival, which is a music festival in Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was just really nice and really friendly. And um, I also saw him at the Mavericks Festival, which he told a story, which inspired me to send him a bunch of my scores. And he actually wrote me a letter back, which was very nice of him. And it was in calligraphy, which yeah. is amazing. <laughs> a letter to hold on to. Yeah. So uh, his, his music has obviously had a big effect on your own composing style, not only in this piece, but in, in other pieces. Yeah, well, I really fell in love with his music at a time when I felt well, in retrospect, I feel that my music was becoming much too thick, much too dense, much, much too much. Um, <laughs> and I just felt that his music just had this great, simple elegance to it, which I was trying to emulate in some of my music so, since then. Along with me, uh, one of your favorites of Lou Harrison's is his suite for violin, piano, and small orchestra. It's a great piece. Uh, Let's listen to a little bit of it just to give everybody a taste of his style. This movement sort of evokes that uh, sound of the Balinese gamelan music. <laughs> There's a wonderful clarity and simplicity about his style, yeah. and I think I think you've you've caught it in this in this violin piano piece. Very sort of open texture. Well, thank you. Nicely done. Now you yourself, in addition to being a composer, you're a, you're a guitarist. Yes. So do you write pieces for a guitar as well? Yeah, I love I love writing for the guitar. It's Did you start out writing for the guitar, or? Uh, yeah, my first my earliest pieces are for the guitar. Mm -hmm. um, I started out in my basement uh, playing a little bit of guitar when I was really young. My dad was a guitar teacher, so I picked it up from him. You, he, was he your first guitar teacher? He was my first He's guitar teaching teacher. He's teaching at San Francisco Conservatory. And yeah. Do you still study with him? No, I don't study with him anymore. How come? Um, I think that was a brilliant move of fatherhood on his part. Uh, <laughs> around the time that I was becoming a teenager, he thought in foresight that we should avoid having as many fights as possible. <laughs> um, so he signed me up for a different teacher. And at the time, I was really distraught. I went to my room and was just upset and myself and how Teddy doesn't love me anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but of course now in retrospect I realize that it was the wise thing to do. The wise thing. You've also got a great story about a time when your dad really came through for you in your earlier really composing career. Yeah, um, when I was 10 in year 2000, or actually I guess it was 11, okay? I was 11 in year 2000 and I was at this uh, summer camp, this Summer Music West at the conservatory and it was a great experience for me and I worked really hard for three weeks on my first I guess I would call it my first major work it was about eight minutes long and it was a sextet and I had written the whole thing and I turned in score and parts uh, you know on the day it was due and the next day I get my part back and I have to rewrite it because my handwriting is completely illegible um, I was they, they won't perform it in, in the condition the, my performer refused one of my performers refused to perform it so I was just completely horribly upset I was Terrified, I didn't have any time to do it. I had to, you know, if I wanted this done, I had to finish by 10 o'clock the following morning. And I was just in tears, so I went to bed and I cried myself to sleep. Um, and. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, during the night, my uh, dad went out and he bought a computer program which would allow him to input the music into the computer and he inputted the entirety of the score while I was asleep and I woke up the next morning and it was completely done. <laughs> That's such an amazing story. That's, that's probably the best musical father-son story we've ever heard on this program. So. Mr. Camille, if you're out there in the audience, and we know you are, <laughs> probably at this point shrinking down into your seat, 
I want to announce something very special to our national radio audience. You, Mr. Camille, are the recipient of the first ever From the Top Father of the Year Award. <laughs> Camille, a native of Chicago, is chairman of the guitar department and the musicianship faculty at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. He studied guitar under the legendary Michael Lorimer. A father of two and husband of one, Scott has mentored such illustrious students as teenage guitarist Matt Zuckerman, who skyrocketed to fame on NPR's hit series From the Top. Scott may be best known as a member of the ill-fated guitar quartet, Scott, Scott, Larry, and Larry. He was one of the Scots. Wow, Joanne, that was impressive, just like the Academy Awards. Thanks. But listen, as, as a recipient of the first ever From the Top Father of the Year Award, what does Mr. Camille get? Nothing. Not a zippo. We don't even have like a crummy dictionary left over from the... No? No can do, Chris. He just gets a warm feeling in his little tummy. Man, this show is cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew, I understand you're such a part of that San Francisco new music scene that people like Lou Harrison helped pioneer. You've actually founded your own new music ensemble? Yes, that's correct. I, uh, I felt... Um, that there's not enough teenagers playing modern music, so I decided to start my own ensemble of all teenagers playing the music of our lifetime. So it's all music for the past 18 years, and we're giving our first concert. It's a fundraiser for Amnesty International, and it's coming up soon. Great. Great work organizationally and compositionally. Wonderful, wonderful piece we got to hear today, and, and we wish you all the best of luck. Really. Thank you. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you. Matthew Camille, 17 years old, our young composer from San Francisco.